Now hello everyone, I'm Dan the Gamer Man and I am so sorry for being away with no videos for the ages but my graphics card and memory are pretty much bit the dust. So thanks to your donations via GoFundMe, I've actually been able to buy some new parts, finally. You have to excuse me at the minute, um, I just had Bonger out for a walk and he's managed to pop my shoulders, I mean, immense amount of pain and propping my shoulder up on. My ch ch set of chest of drawers. Hello, Mimi. Anyway, with the money you guys donated, I was able to buy some Vengeance DDR3 Pro RAM, 16 gigabytes, two sticks of um, eight. The I also managed to buy myself a new little external terabyte hard drive in order to put my videos onto and footage and edit on the go. So I can edit on my iPad and on my girlfriend's laptop if need be and also take videos. But my internet is a sack of crap. So I can also go and upload at a separate area. Which has faster internet. And the creme de creme of what I got is the MSI GTX 960 graphics card. 4 gig version. I was going to get the 2 gig version but then I saw this was even within my budget. So I picked this up, everything minus the uh, hard drive, the gig, the RAM and the graphics card came in at under £300, so that was a good thing. And Mimi is currently about to jump into a box. Mimi, come here. Papers. Crips. What are we doing? Mimi's acting like I will probably be able to use painkillers kick in, like he's on catnip or something like that. So what I thought I would do for you guys as a huge thank you is I will actually unbox and install these. Um, I'll read off what's actually on the back of here. It comes with the turn around. Comes with the talks and for fans, which is the fans. You guys will understand all this. I'll put details up in the video. Um, comes with the Super SU pipe heating system. Or cooling system, not heating. Oh god, you can tell them pain because I'm kicking yet. <laughs> Twin Zero Forza fans, in order to keep it quiet, these only actually come on when it actually heats up to the point you need it. Um, this comes with plenty of apps like NVIDIA Games Works, NVIDIA Game Stream, it's G Sync Ready and Shield Ready, up to GTX 12, because in my last graphics card, I wouldn't even run 9. Which is a blessing in disguise, which means I can turn up everything on Minecraft. I can finally bring you guys early in isolation. I really want to play again for the channel, it's insane. Um, the display ports, which I'll show you when I've opened it, actually. Um, yeah, it's HDMI ready, it's an HDMI card, so I've got it go with my TV. Yeah, I'm running the TV, not a monitor, I can't afford a new monitor, so I'm using my old TV. So let's go ahead and get this open before the cat comes and rips the box open and gets in the way. Now if anyone's interested, that's the inside of my tower. It's a little bit dusty still. Spent two hours cleaning it the other day. Fair time I've actually put into it in about uh, five years now. So let's go ahead and open the Vengeance Ram. The reason I chose the MSI is over oh, the only was I kind of want to get a red and black motif going with it. Yeah, I know, red and black, it's all emo. Tough. Shit. My rig, my belt. As you can see here, two six of eight. Kings of Corsair Vengeance Ram. I'm not going to open them until it's ready to go in. And uh, now I need to find my screw drum driver. Ah, oh, sorry, I've got a hole. I can't. Oh, there's only a hole in the packaging. I've actually been waiting in all these turned up for like 7 o'clock at night. Which is ridiculous. I've been in all day. Got bored to the point I rearranged the bedroom. So I set this up while I'm at it so I can actually do this. I apologize for my audio quality. Oh god, the box is, the box is very sleek. Oh, my 29th MSI stickers folded. Baldrick. This is the other hot edition, by the way, as well. Right. Let's put you 
there. There we go. Oh, there's also again. The weapon to own your game. Uh, I've always thought of the weapon more as a hammer. Ooh, it's nice. Although it's one of the most redundant things I hate about foxes within a fox. Even though I technically, if it didn't have a bottom on it, that would technically be a sleeve. And I'd say if it didn't have a spit, it'd technically just be a sleeve, which would have been more, you know, practical. Made it a bit, look a bit more presentable, I think. Anyway, nice presentation of this box. This is probably what's going to be like my instruction and drivers and stuff like that. Get open. Oh. Sorry. Here we go. We have my shot the back, my driver disc. I'm just going to download that shot the side. The quick user's guide, which I'll sit and read for right in a bit. A VGA to DDI adapter. MSI zone brand. Yeah, MSI zone brand. Uh, I already have one of those as it is. I don't need it anymore. And this is the 6 pin to 8 pin adapter for your connectors on the cable supply. Gosh, that's not like everyone else who does this. Hmm. I put this on the other side of my monitor to see if it actually. Oh, my monitor, my rig to see if it actually. Uh, Something to quiet down. Probably that's from the noise, it's me going to the toilet. There we go. The main event. The graphics card itself. I don't know if you can see this from the glare from the lights, but I'll take it out of the packaging. I've already Rounded myself for this. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit, ooh, you are a beauty. Oh, look at that. Comes with back, got a back plate, it's cooling fans, got cooling pipes, the fans themselves. Ooh. Zero throws up. Smart cooling, stay quiet. We move first for gaming. That is the most. What? No shit Sherlock statement I've ever had. Then again, you will get some idiot. Oh, I'm going to look on the internet. I see some idiots complain about. Uh, but it got too hot and the plastic melted and then it broke. Duh, duh, duh. See the twin fans there. The PCI port. Yeah, you see, I love the fact that I'm inside. I just want to keep most of these in. There's the VGA bot. Where's my HDMI? There you are. Right, display, display. Display. Yes, there's the HDMI. Right there. Three display ports. One HDMI, one VGA. Looking beautiful. So I'm not going to use the display ports just yet. So I and back in. Maybe what are you attacking? Just him out. Never work with animals, folks. Even if you don't attend to, to get into it. Don't you mean me? Bah! <laughs> nope. He's not having it. Right. Let's get this. Installed within a minute. Two. Take one. Let's go ahead and get the RAM installed. I bought this computer off a friend. Hello, Kenny! Like, about three years ago, and he used to do computer science, he used to get all the top parts. From uni, so the last graphics comes in HDMI, ATI, Radian, 
Right. That way around. That's the pop. If you had that, that's the pop you want to be hearing when you install these. Oh, don't worry, I am. I am going to sort of get much of up, don't worry. I got a slight problem, I just need to sort the cable mine out. Move the boxes because it's a big bundle of cables. Actually in the way. Move it up. This is why I said I'll sort the cable mine out once this is in. So I knew what to do it. That looks crazy. You're probably going, but Dan, you should be doing this, you should be doing that. I have not put a part in a computer in about, monster memory, in about 10 years, so I'm doing well.
room, which is in the living room. I just had to run off and get the screw for my old graphics card. Luckily I kept it, because I'm actually quite disappointed it didn't actually come with one. No, honestly. No that longer. I don't have any toys just yet. Body wash, body washy wash. with this um turns out the motherboard does not like the memory it's supposed to be in it will take 16 gig but only in sticks of four so four each um and i ended up clearly two sticks of eight also stay there. the gigabyte motherboard i did have um also did not like the graphics card so, there's a lesson to be learned here. Don't listen to your friend who you bought the computer from, who thinks he has a completely different motherboard in there, and you take his advice on which bits to get. Kenny! Also, um, yes, I have had a haircut in between days, and I had a change of t-shirt because I don't believe in continuality. Also, you may hear some crying because Bongo is on a timeout at the minute because he tried eating the motherboard box. And you may also hear some random other barnyard animal noises because my girlfriend is in the room and she likes to make random noises every now and again like that. Don't Piss you? Piss off! <laughs> For example. <laughs> <laughs> so, what I've had to do is buy a new motherboard and CPU to get things back running so thank you to the, Bene the um, anonymous benefactor for that because I had to order it from Amazon to get it next day delivery so I can get it all back up and running so I am now going to unbox those things quite chill and then you'd, I'm not going to film build it on camera because I've got the Antec 900 case is not the best for cable management I have to work all that out it's going to take me up to ages to do but I will film the boot up. So, let's get into the unboxing, shall we? Right, now that I've got my glasses on, the first thing I am going to unbox is the AMD FX 8350. Having to talk a bit louder because the dog's crying. 8 core 4 gigahertz processor from AMD. I chose this one because it's apparently really good for not only just gaming but video production as well. You can tell I'm not good at these things, can't you? Well, it's my first ever unboxing video, so... Cut, cut, cut with the knife -y. Cut, cut, cut with the knife. There we go. Right, let's open this up. Dog, stop crying. Mimi's in the room as well, so she may jump up on here. She better not do when I unbox the motherboard. 
but knowing the cat she will do. There she is. There's the process off. All in all, I'm gonna I get a nice little oh, I get a nice sticker with it too. See? Nice sticker. Yeah, that's the processor, the 8 core. This is the fan I'm going to be installing just for one day. Because apparently the fan can't deal with the heat fully. Which is a bit redundant in honestly. Maybe box. Yeah, I can see how now. But I do have a new one, a better one on the way tomorrow. No! You're in trouble, that's why I end up being on camera. Uh, I have a new one coming tomorrow, I'm not going to film that, but I'll be swapping it out tomorrow. So, yeah, can't wait to get this and running. Slot these back into the box for storage for now. I give that to me, didn't I? Now on to the piece of resistance. Piece of resistance. Could be worse, could be piss off again. I'm getting that now. <laughs> Let's open this up. It's pretty much the box. I opened it. I did open this up earlier just to make sure everything was in it. And if the camera rocks, I do apologise because Mimi's currently trying to play with the tripod. Mimi, don't play with the tripod, it's not mine. Um, but I haven't opened the motherboard up or anything like that. This is this is my first time going to open the motherboard. Just had a quick glance more than anything of anything else. Ah. See, this is the one who's trying to sabotage the filming. Ah, my no, no, got you, mummy. No. Oh. <laughs> Flying cat. No, you're not being on camera. I'm going to try and make this as much unedited as possible. Uh, yeah, the reason I got this motherboard is because A, it goes with my graphics card. B, I don't have to worry about upgrading it all too much in the future. And I do plan on running uh, multiple graphics cards and upping the memory from 16 gig. I'm going to need the Knife of Doom. It's a rated Knife of Doom. I command thee. Do thy bidding. Ow. Drops on my foot. But the one bad thing that, about this box was. Um, it's not the model casing from this, it was the casing, the box that came from Amazon. This was on the bottom of the box and all the padding was on the top. So I was really concerned about it. Anyway. Here we go. Nice black. There's the PTI parts. See, I love the heatsink on this. So nice. Multiple memory ports. This should run up to 32 gig. Well, anything, I haven't really checked that. Um, the audio boost is one of the biggest things because it actually insulates the audio so it doesn't get the electronic, the electromagnetic interference from the rest of the board. So it should make everything more smoother, especially considering I'm using an audio jack microphone. So I should get the static and the hiss I have had on other videos. Also, I should make things sound a lot better in games for me, so I can actually hear what's going on. There's the back of it. Oh, very nice black. I'm going for a nice black and red motif anyway in the actual full build. So the rest of the box... There's a grounding myself as well. And the kids grab yourself before your parents do. So rest of the box, the MSI case badge, which I'm really looking forward to having on, as well as the AMD sticker as well. 
the sorry I'm busy gaming I'm not here dog back I'm attempting to stick to the dog's tail if he does not get down I'm cruel I know but oh well. the cab if you want to run to um, the cab the cable if you want to run two um, graphics cards so you only have to run the power to one I, the power supply I do have actually does give you the option to power two if I do wish um, drivers the PCL ugh, the SAT cable tags my brain is going I've had a headache all day so right, the uh, quick installation guide user guide get these art treats for you the nice IO back shield is another reason I wanted this because it's Bogus! stop it now and that's why you don't anger my girlfriend isn't it hun if you say so dear When she shouts, it can be scary than any jump scare in Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> Especially when it's from out of nowhere at the dog like that. Anyway, yeah, the IO shield. IO holder thing. Make jigger. God. Should have had an aspen before this. Um, it's actually padded, it's nice and red. Can't wait to fit that as well. Also, the SATA cables for the hard drives. You get two of them, so. This should be helpful because the other ones I had that came with the computer when I bought it from my friend. There was two orange ones and one blue one and they just looked awful and I'm trying to slimline everything. I think you can actually see what I mean about the cable management in this. There's a little hole, there's three holes but you can't really get in there because that's where the power supply sits. So yeah, so, I'm going to get this lot all installed and I will film be fair since you boot up. I do have a beer ready to go when if it works. So I'll catch you on the flip side and see you in a bit. Moment of truth, mine's get anything in there. That cable management in there is not final. That's until I get a new case I'm gonna have to mod it to high hell. Just to Get stuff around the back of it because there's no holes like under the motherboard, but now I know where the motherboard sits, I can do it. Let's get this on. It's finally up and running after a week of trying to get this thing working. Yes, I still have the fan to install over this new, new uh, the new fan over the uh, old CPU. But the trouble I have had this week trying to get this going, I told you about the motherboard. Um, then the PCU wouldn't um, connect to the motherboard properly. Turns out I hadn't actually pushed it in all the way because the cable was too taut. Then the OS would not install properly, so I had to go and buy a new copy of Windows 7, which took me a while because I had to get the money to do that. But now I am back. Thank you everyone for your patience. The computer is now up and running. I still got some other stuff to do, like the fan, or a new case. I also have come up with a project name for this, for it's, when it's fully finished. 
A lot of people seem to name their computers for some form of life or power. So, I was talking to my girlfriend and we decided, you know, I grew up playing Sega. So, how about, instead of Genesis, Mega Drive, which is what the UK and Asia called for Genesis, because for some reason the Americans decided, I'm going to call it something else. I'm going to call it after a band. So, I'd just like to read out names of people to thank. There are quite a few anonymous. Not all of this was paid for by GoFundMe, I had some other outside help as well as. Lord, you bloody thing. Trusty iPad. Right, Aries Gezmo, thank you very much. Audrey Rowe, thank you very much. Christian Chase, thank you, kind sir. Amanda Wright, thank you again. Amanda also drew me this awesome picture uh, a while back, a few months back, I don't know if you can see. It's me as the 10th Doctor with Bongo as K9. Linda Rose, I apologise if I say this wrong, Linda Rose Kranz, Rose Kranz, thank you very much, Diana Holmes, thank you very much for uh, £100, Gordon Brian, or as this reads, Gordon O and hash 039, semicolon Brian. And two donations from Brian Calloway, who, you, if you'd watched my last live stream, he actually was in that live stream as well, so he played a big hand in getting me back up and running. I can now bring you guys games. Next video I'm going to show you after this one is actually going to be the Chubby Bunny Challenge, so that'll be coming up two days after this video goes up. And then I have the um, reading comments video as well. So, once again, a huge thank you for helping me get up and running. So it's not 100% complete yet. I've still got the fan to fit and a new case because the cable management in this is appalling. I think you probably saw when I was doing it over there. But yeah, I'm up and running now. Now bring you guys pretty much any game I wish to show you or if you guys request it, if I can afford it as well. The GoFundMe will still be running because it will help pay for stuff like a new microphone because this is my microphone at the minute. I am not using it at the minute, I'm having to shout, so this it's all still the camera um, microphone. Um, as well as a new case. I know which case I want, but I won't if I ever get the funds for that. And also I'll help pay for game funds from Steam Credit and any other games I need to get. So thank you once again. I can't say thank you enough. I am actually quite overwhelmed by this. You've all been absolutely fantastic. Thank you once again. And I'll see you in the next video, which should not take too long. I apologise abusively. I cannot help. Technical difficulties as much as I could. Also, keep an eye out for Halloween. I will be doing a Halloween live stream. So if you want to see the, me play the Whistleblower Outlast DLC, I'll be playing it during the Halloween live stream. So that will also be for Mind Hull in East Yorkshire as well, charity. Told you I'll be back doing charity live streams once I got this sorted, didn't I? Yeah, and I'm back doing it, mother boy. Mother, mother boy, what? Anyway, I'm going to go rambling on like mad. So thank you all so much. Huge hugs to everyone. See you later.